Today I want to talk about things that you can control. Uh, one of the really, well, one of the, one of the really, like, one of the many things that are really frustrating through all this is the trying to control your situation. And what I mean by that is oftentimes when you're fighting this, you are so focused in, in I guess, winning or having the XP accountable, and you lose sight of what you're really working towards and what's really important. And I see this a lot with people who are in the midst of their court battle. Um, they're probably, maybe things aren't going quite right. They're not really winning what they want to win or their arguments aren't being recognized. Well, the thing with that is you, you, you really have to refocus on what you're really looking to win, right? And I fell for this myself. Whenever, you know, when, it, when the whole thing first started, I had in my mind what a victory was. And as time progressed and things got more nasty, it deviated. And the way I can kind of explain that is whenever I ultimately, I guess, won, I mean, we never went to court, we settled, but whenever the settlement was 50-50, not leaving, you know, basically everything I originally asked for, it didn't feel like a victory because I was so angry and frustrated about everything that had happened, how much money that was spent, all the injustice of the entire process that I really lost sight of what I was really looking to win or what I was trying to accomplish. The tough part about this is whenever you start losing or you think you're losing, you still have to, you need to pivot and focus on what is really, really important. Okay. And you have to be realistic about what is important. And what I mean is, is that if you have unrealistic, like for me, if I would have had unrealistic expectations of victory, and let's say that meant, you know, full custody, supervised visitations for mom, uh, you know, nothing, you know, my retirement completely intact, you know, no, ch whatever. I mean, just all this, this complete destruction for her. Well, fundamentally, that was unrealistic, right? There was no way that I was going to achieve that. I mean, I guess if I was a narcissist and I was trying to smear and everything, you know, maybe in my mind I could have thought that, but, but there was, there was, it wasn't realistic, right? Going in, my victory points were not leaving the state, I live in California, and 50-50 custody, getting as close to 50-50 as I possibly could get. That was, that was what my going in position was. The problem is, is as, as this pro progressed, and the accusations started and, you know, the, the, you know, you're a horrible person, you're stalking us, you're doing all this crap. It really burrows under and it messes with your mind because one, you're not doing that. And two, you're like being accused of all these things. And three, you're worried that people are going to believe it. Now, the first part of this I have to hit is that if you do anything to validate those concerns, you have significantly hurt your chances for success. Doesn't mean it's completely off the table, but what I'm saying is, is that when my ex was saying that I was abusive and physically abusive and a danger, had I done anything in that process that she could have, you know, stuck her teeth into to say, see there right there is an example that he's dangerous, I would have been toast. Because I was able to focus and not do that because I was able to keep control of my emotions. So when I was pushed that I minimized those failures, there was a couple times I did. And to be perfectly honest, I'm actually surprised she didn't push it farther. I think part of the reason is, is in my particular career, pushing that could have potentially destroyed my career and would have ruined her paycheck, right? And in my situation, she needed me employed so that I could pay her. I've often said, and just to throw this out here, if you're dealing with somebody who is independent or has another source of supply, family, new boyfriend, new girlfriend, whatever the heck it is, if, if you being a productive member of society is not, they're not, their survival isn't dependent on it, be very careful because that increases the chances that they will do anything and everything in their power to destroy you to get what they want. Okay, so my point on this is whenever you're going through this, you have to figure out what your real victory point is, okay? 
In my situation, it was not leaving the state and 50-50 custody. Now, had she not been able to leave the state, but maybe it was every other weekend, that would have sucked because of a bunch of different reasons. But, but you know, I mean, I gotta, you gotta look at what you're really, lo- what you're really looking for your victory point to be. The reason I say this again, and I'm going back to the beginning of this, is because it is so easy in the midst of all of this to lose sight of it and just to want to just crush the other person, have them run through the, the, the town square and exposed for who they are. Typically, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. So the likelihood that you're going to have an opportunity where that's going to happen, where everyone's going to believe you and everyone's going to say, oh my God, this person is an alien monster and she must be stopped or he must be stopped. Oftentimes, guys, I hate to say this, it, it takes a really long time to make that happen. That's why, now there are some, let me back up. That's why I think it's really important to focus on your kids and focus on your environment because you can kind of control that to, for the most part. And if you're able to do all that in the middle of family court, then it increases your chances of not getting pulled into a trap or worst case, getting the kids to basically say, well, daddy or mommy is scary and I don't want to be around her or be around them. So I, I just want to bring this up because I see this a lot and I remember going through this myself where you get so angry and focused on this stupid battle that we have to fight, that we're forced to fight, and you lose sight of what's really going on, right? I mean, bottom line, here's the deal. If they're saying crap about you, it doesn't really matter. If people are believing it, like evaluators are the court, that's a problem. And then you have to pivot to say, okay, fine. You believe that I'm a problem. What do we have to do to fix that, right? Be, be, be solution oriented on how to fix it. Because a problem is, is if somebody is believing the lies and you're going, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true, you're not helping yourself. Actions and words, right? Often we talk about with narcissist people, their actions and their words don't follow. The same thing goes for us. If we're saying we're an awesome parent, we have to be able to demonstrate that we're an awesome parent. We have to be able to to show that. You can't just say it. You can't just say that this is all a pile of crap and it's not true. You have to prove it. Prove it by actions and focus on that. If you're in the middle of the court stuff, that's what you have to focus on. If you're losing those things, I mean, work with your attorney because they're going to understand the local rules and laws and they'll understand what what uh, what works and doesn't work. And then the second part of it is how do you determine or how do you show these other people that you're not what they are? You can't just say it. I couldn't just go in and say, I'm not a monster. You know, I'm not abusive. It's you've got to demonstrate it. Right. And that's really the key. That's how you 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 slowly chip away at their smear campaign and their campaign of terror against you. It's not easy. It's really tough. You know, and it feels like when you're not actively defending yourself that you're saying it's true like you're like well i'm not going to defend it because it's true no it's both it's bs and most of the time the courts don't just automatically believe what someone else is saying unless there's something to demonstrate to make them think that they're they're doing that that's why you want to demonstrate that it's not true okay I, i hopefully that makes sense if you have some questions leave that in the comments below if i need to explain this a little bit more or if i need to elaborate on it um if you like this channel please uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification so YouTube will actually tell you about the the, uh, videos I post. Uh, You can sign up for my newsletter over at dadsurvivingdivorce.com and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.